Now we have psychiatric patient with unstable relationships, history of drug and alcohol, etc., and said he want to kill his girlfriend. What you will do? You will, of course, you will inform the police. You will uh, counsel him. You will involuntary admission. You will, uh, you will do another psychotherapy. Whenever I told you before, whenever, whenever the patient intend to uh, harm another person, not himself. Of course, we will do involuntary admission. Of course, we will counsel him. Of course, we will give another antipsychotic therapy. Of course, we will do this, but we have to inform the police. And the best answer, not, but not uh, just the informing police, we will inform the police and we will inform his girlfriend also. This is very important scenario. A psychic patient that want to make harm to another person, you have to inform the person and you have to inform the police. Uh, by school due to misconduct behavioral conduct behavioral with teacher and kids what history of drugs jail school exclusion transy etc etc multiple scars here we have the conduct behavior the the conduct uh, child this is a child with a criminal history drugs jail ex school expulsion multiple scars on the arm said he want to die now said this this uh, boy said he want to die what to do next of course we will go for involuntary admission Involuntary admission mean even uh, even if the parents uh, didn't accept the admission, we will go for involuntary admission. Involuntary admission, we will admit this patient because he is danger on himself. Patient on multiple drugs had raised cholesterol of seven cause of raised cholesterol. What is the cause? It's thiazide. Hyper is one of the uh, side effects of thiazide. I want you just to memorize it. Hyperlipidemia is a very common with thiazide. Patient with AF, again, pain in the legs. Right leg is pallor, absent pulse. What is the diagnosis? As I told you, IF means thrombus. There's a thrombus moved to uh, obstruct uh, the arteries of the uh, right leg. So what is the investigation to see the, these obstructed arteries? Of course, it is ultrasound of the leg. Okay, we have here arterial ultrasound and acute limb ischemia. Simply, I hope you are very good uh, in doing the uh, scenarios of AF. I think in your exam, it will be not, not less than three, three to four questions that patient with AF and the blah, 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 they brought to you a history after that. Patient returned from uh, London two days ago, came with the flu, suddenly started cough and fell, because, became, became unconscious, heart rate normal, blood pressure is low. What is the diagnosis? Here I am thinking about pulmonary embolism. Why? Who can tell me why I'm thinking this is not cough syndrome? Even if there is another option, I will go for pulmonary embolism. Why? Because 
Return, return from London, that means a flight for at least, at least 14 hours duration. Okay, that's the trick about this question. As I told you, any patient return from uh, a travel, if there is no any clue of prolonged flight uh, trip, you cannot go for pulmonary embolism. Here, the patient returned from London to Australia, so th think about prolonged duration of a flight. It's at least, if it is direct flight, I don't know if there is a direct flight from London to Sydney, but at least, at least it will take 14 hours and this uh, patient will get pulmonary embolism. Okay? Patient with a history of DVT had dyspnea, chest pain, VQ scan show no perfusion in the lung segment. What is the management? Of course, we will go for enoxaprine uh, uh, subcutaneous. Thrombolysis, why to go for thrombolysis directly or warfarin? The the uh, patient has dyspnea chest pain right now. We have to give him subcut uh, injection. We take this lump uh, under the angle of the mandible, history of smoking. The diagnosis is mostly metastasis, tongue cancer uh, with the metastasis. The smoker, think about uh, tongue carcinoma, metastasis to the uh, to the lymph node below the mandible, submandibular lymph nodes. Cuff three, three weeks, sputum blood stained. There was opacity in the left upper lung loop and lymph node enlarged lymph left supraclavicular region. What What is the, another uh, finding you will have on physical examination? This is mostly, as I told you, we had, this is mostly lung in the uh, chest, which is pancos tumor. Always think when there is, when there is a blood stain, sebutum, chronic cough, and upper, uh, It's corrected. Upper lung lobe opacity, think about pancos tumor. These are the keys for a lung tumor. Lung tumor in the apex, it is pancos tumor. What else you will see in this patient? You will see the Horner syndrome. If you remember the other scenarios, the other scenario give you a picture of, in the scenario they will mention to you there is a Horner syndrome features plus uh, X-ray show left upper or right upper lobe uh, lung uh, opacity. So what is the diagnosis? And in that scenario, you will go for pancos tumor. As I told you, they they are strict to the same scenarios because the common is common. But sometimes they are manipulating them, making the upside down and the down upside as simple as that, like you see in this question. In this question, they just changed the scenario, but the topic are the same. We have, uh, they put the blood stained uh, sputum, so you, you have to think about cancer in the chest. Cuff chronic, also a clue for a cancer. Okay, where is the opacity? The opacity in the upper uh, zone of the lung. Okay, I will uh, I will think that this is pancos tumor. This is lung tumor. This is pancos tumor. But how can I know pancos tumor? I will look for Horner syndrome features. So here the question is what to look. Look for Horner syndrome. Simply like that. Okay. Please confirm your understanding for this question because it's very important. Three uh, week pregnant lady come with a history of vaginal bleeding, 33. 
Look to the number, it's 33, it's not near term, it's a preterm, come with vaginal bleeding, 1,000 blood loss, mill is loss, blood pressure is, uh, uh, is diastolic is low, heart rate is with the normal, and abdominal exam, uterus was 38 week, no fetal heart sound, what is the next management? Of course, you will do ultrasound, but as I told you before, whenever there is high potential, this is very important. Whenever there, there is high potential, this is a meaning that the patient has shock. You have to know what is the type of this shock. Just simply, whenever you have shock, try to exclude the cardiogenic shock because all other type of shock, the next option in the management will be the IV fluid, except the, in, the, in the case of cardiogenic shock. And I told you in the cardiogenic shock, there is elevated JVP or there is a history of uh, MI. In that case, you will go to choose the next, not the IV fluid, you have to go for uh, dopamine or dopamine, IV dopamine or IV dopamine, both are correct. Okay, so simply, we have hypotension. I don't need all the data. I will just go for IV fluid. Yes, we will do ultrasound, but the next will be the IV fluid. Huge loss of blood, immediate resuscitation, even if the vital is stable. Uh, this female may collapse at any moment. I will not send her really in the real life. I will not ask them to go for uh, doing ultrasound before I will put the IV line and secure the, uh, uh, be, be sure of secured IV line and giving IV fluid.